And I've got some breaking news. Yes, who showed up? Okay, we raised four thousand dollars for Met Friday Kitchen. Nothing gives away. Oh my god, breaking news. Come on the Browns. It's a rock and roll lifestyle, but I try and keep my feet on the ground. The number one question I get asked is, why are you a Browns fan? I've got some weird fascination with the word Brown. Animal. My name's Paul Brown, and I used to work at Browns Hotel. I use Molten Brown shower gel. I wear Thomas Brown shirts. The list goes on. And five years ago, there was a... Uh, NFL fantasy football draft league happening in my office and I thought now's the time to really understand what actually happens in American football. Some behind the scenes footage for you. This is where the podcast happens and then we're going to get ready for the trip to Cleveland. Paul Brown. He lives thousands of miles away in England, but he's been a Browns fan for years. He says when he learned about fellow fan Matthew Dixon's cancer diagnosis, well, he was moved, so he decided to help. Next Brown. point of call is the USA. I'm here in London. I'm leaving right now, Heathrow. Uh, first stop, Detroit. Uh, big meet up tomorrow night, Tuesday night, and then hopefully uh, seeing as many people as I can on Saturday, driving to Cleveland from Detroit on Friday. So, uh, au revoir, England. Hurry up, USA. We're in Detroit with the two most famous Coney Island hot dogs. They're brothers, they hate each other, one on the left, one on the right. We're gonna go into both and work out which hot dog is really the best. So what makes your hot dog so special? Yeah. Yeah. Time, time. Time. It's the original Coney Island, we, gotta, we make our own chili. 105 years Let's give it a go. The bread is super soft. Here we go. I'm tasting the mustard, the onion, sausage. I'm not going to give my verdict yet until I try the other one. We're in. Better here or next door? It's better here. Better next yeah, yeah. So we're now in the American Coney Island diner. And it is more of a diner experience. But anyway, let's go straight into the hot dog. Sausage is slightly more crunchy and I prefer the sausage here. It's not on the same level as the one next door. Stan, the president of the Detroit Packers. Southeast Michigan Browns Packers. Got the main man here, Mike. Trubisky lookalike, and he says he knows him. Uh, someone anonymous has said that whatever I raise on Saturday, they're going to double it. So thank you very much for that person. So hopefully we'll make two to three thousand pounds on Saturday. Anyway, Jaeger Bomb from Detroit. Cheers, guys. Go Browns. Go Browns, baby. I swear it tastes worse over here. I'm in Tony Paco's. Clifford's been here. Trump's been here. Obama. Margaret Thatcher's been here. Look at this. A moose head in the restaurant. I've got the hot dog. It's better than Detroit. However, missing them onions on the top. And also gone with the uh, fried pickles which are like really hot in temperature. I think I'm just burnt my mouth off. Next stop, Cleveland. It's a beautiful sunny day, jet ski in the bay, the birds are tweeting and the city looks gorgeous. Sand quality is on par with the Maldives. And you're in Cleveland, it's unbelievable. Look. Beach. I might actually go for a swim tomorrow. Maybe not actually. And I'm gonna see how warm it is. Here we go. Not 
too bad. I think you would warm up to that, but yeah, it's, it's quite nippy. I wonder. Yeah, I think I'll call that a day. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, maybe tomorrow I'll go for a swim. Down here, early start, early run. Edgy, edgy water beach, look at that. Sand is absolutely gorgeous, and we're gonna run up to the Cleveland side. Come welcome. Run done. Say hi. These all my fans have come out this morning. Go Browns, say go Browns. Paul Brown, he lives thousands of miles away in England, but he's been a Browns fan for years. He says when he learned about fellow fan Matthew Dixon's cancer diagnosis, well, he was moved, so he decided to help. Brown took that trip across the pond to help Dixon raise money to treat that disease, a form of cancer less than 100 people get each year. It's passion. It's uh, what Ohio is all about. Uh, yeah, local people looking after everyone and uh, obviously being an outsider. It's great to do something locally. It's just amazing when somebody takes a personal interest in your well-being. It's just such a great fan base and community. It's just passion. Good morning, Cleveland. We're here. We're going to meet today at 12 o'clock. I look forward to seeing you all later on. Matthew is absolutely buzzing about today, but yeah, just see what you can do, donate, come down, it's gonna be a great day. Maybe some Jaeger bombs, maybe. The bar crawl started. <laughs> Say hi guys. Hi, how you doing? I got some breaking news. Freddy Kitchen has donated $1,000 for Matthew and his charity. So Freddy Kitchen, if you're watching this, thank you very much, well go. done. And I look forward to seeing you on the bar crawl, Freddy. I hear you're a big drinker. Today, Browns fans had a bar crawl set up downtown to raise money for Matt. And guess who showed up? None other than Browns head coach, Freddie Kitchens. There he is with Matt. <laughs> I'm here with Brown's ex-player Gene Williams and he's got me a game ball from what game? Uh, the Browns Bengals 1993 October uh, I got a game ball we beat them 28-17 and I'm giving it to you because you're Paul Brown and Paul Brown coached both those teams and who else give who mate, else am I gonna give it to you bro? Absolute legend mate <laughs> thank you so much mate it means unbelievable mate that's gonna go uh, in my uh, man cave Oh, awesome. Thank you very Take much. a picture to it and tweet it out. So make sure I get it. <laughs> yeah, okay. And have a great bar crawl today. Mate, thanks a lot. And an awesome time. I'm a little beat up, so I can't do it with you today. No worries. But uh, have a fantastic time. Thanks a lot, These mate. Browns fans are the best. <laughs> Ed's bike. What sort of bike is it, Ed? That's an 86 Sportster, totally street illegal. Illegal? Yes. Hello, <laughs> Harley, in Cleveland. What could go wrong? Two Jaeger bombs. There is the one and only Paul Brown on a Harley on the mean, in the mean streets of downtown Cleveland on our way to the second stop. Right on, brother. We've got a chug off. We've got Brown Super Fan versus. I've got on that piece. Oh my god, Jim Miller. The coach! You bring out. 
Mata Whoa. Animal yeah. Okay, we did a bar crawl in Cleveland. We managed to do three bars. Bars, yeah, it was bars. In, how many hours? Two bars. Two bars. Three hours. So two bars and three hours. Okay, we raised $4,000 in Met Freddy Kitchen. Some, okay, I talk too much, so. Um, okay, next city, we're gonna try and beat this, so. Maybe in New York, we're trying to do two bars. We've been to three bars, I'm sure we've been to three bars. Next time I'm in New York, it's a fundraiser for Matthew. So everywhere I go, the first night before the game, is a fundraiser for Matthew. So New York, I challenge you, can you do two bars, two bars, two Jaeger bombs in four hours? I think you can do that, New York. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Go Browns, gentlemen. Here we go. Cheers. My first baseball game here at the Indians. I'm so drunk. I've got no idea what's going on. I don't even know where my ticket is. Well, it should be fun. First ever game at baseball. So if you remember We've been sitting here for two hours. Absolutely pissing down at baseball. Might as well be in England, the weather's just the same. Oh. First home run of the night. So take it three hours. <laughs> okay, it's the seventh inning song. So the song's about what, 111 years old? Yeah, It won't be rushing to come back. Here we go, brownies! 